okay, we're gonna give a little illustration here, um, just the effectiveness of what we do versus weight training. Garrett's gonna go ahead and he's gonna do some isolated bicep curls with dumbbells. Go ahead, Garrett. So, while this is effective, it's not the most effective way to work the body out, work the muscle out. So, there is natural unloading that occurs in this motion, okay? So, um, he's got a moderate weight dumbbell. Um, and so he's, as he's lifting, he's weaker at certain parts of the motion than he is other parts. Like up at the top, he's completely unloading, or I wouldn't say completely, but almost unloading. And then, you know, he's obviously much stronger in his eccentric phase of the motion as opposed to the concentric. So he's kind of got that little sticky point right there that he's having to work through. Now I'm gonna show you in just a minute how we use adaptive resistance to get way more bang for your buck. Okay, now what's happening is, unlike weight training, we're not using gravity to actually work the muscle. This is hard all the way through, okay? So this is what's known as adaptive resistance. So it changes throughout your motion, so it becomes it's, your, it's hard all the way through the motion, okay? There's no natural unloading that occurs here. So we're able to get way more out of a working set than what we ever could with weight training. This is our differentiator. This is what is gonna make the change in your body. How are we feeling, Garrett? Uh, 